here's here's the thing. Here we go. <laughs> Before I introduce these people, I want to talk briefly about this game because I found Sherwood by doing one of my favorite things, which is cruising drive through RPG and scrolling way, way down. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, everybody knows the big games. This is how you find cool little games with with amazing mechanics. It takes some time, but it's how I found Necrobiotic with that amazing card mechanic that we're really going to start making use of now that they're starting to level up. It's where I found this one, where tonight you're going to see the mechanics in this game are very different in a very different way as well. It looks normal on the surface, but it ain't. So <clears throat> we're going to get to that very, very soon. But first, some people, some amazing people, every time I say, who wants to play a brand new game that I've never run before? Every time, half the channel goes, I will if nobody else wants to. Uh, that is the standard reaction every single time. <coughs> Thank you for finding the link. A uh, game of Outlaws. Yeah. Outlaws I checked Arcana. to make sure it was that there's multiple, so I checked to make sure yes. this was one that had the same cover. That this is one. Ours. The other one should be the <laughs> character sheets, I think. Uh, I worth downloading because they're not in the book. Uh, but if you if you purchase it, you get both. So. <clears throat> and then I modified them slightly in this and made them fillable. But never mind. Let's talk to the people before I forget that there's people here. And the people are here because that's the only reason we're here. So, so save me. Sarah, uh, you start with save me. <laughs> save me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, now I have to add this also to my list. I saw you were Did busy. I saw I the... saw you were busy. So I threw you under a bus while you were busy. Oh, okay, uh, so... bad joke. Sorry. Uh that's a too soon in Canada joke. Wow, I didn't mean it. Oops. No, yeah, really. Yeah, oops. Uh, uh -oh. Tell now us about yourself. Searching news. Anyway, Sarah. <laughs> so I have Tankor Productions. Thank you. My YouTube channel. Hopefully soon that will have stuff up. I mean, like, coming within a couple of months now. Um, I'm still working on Bravely Broken um, <coughs> and all of the fun stuff over there. I run Deviant Futures on Thursdays. I am in the Tuesday game as Elizabeth Sasslamanda slash whatever name we end up using slash whoever's the new character <laughs> next week. Yep. And I play Bite on Sundays. Wow. That's a busy week. You're here almost all the days we're on. Uh, it's yep. amazing. <laughs> uh, next, uh, let's just work our way around the call. Karis, how you been? It's been a while since we've had you on stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. well, uh, I'm not Excuse coughing me. as badly. I'm starting to actually recover, which I say as I'm about to cough. Sorry. Um, all good. Anyways, uh, yeah, I am, um, I don't know. I play Minecraft on my own channel. I play D&D &D on, on Daddy Warbucks's channel. I play whatever the hell this is, Sherwood, on Sherwood. this channel. Yep. Uh, the... <laughs> and I produce, and I produce Sarah's Thursday night game. <laughs> on this channel <laughs> I, I came up with the final name for this show last night uh when i decided to start really writing it um it is called sherwood a new trope oh no <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna fit okay yeah. um mm -hmm. yeah yeah wait, a new trope. Uh, yeah wait mm -hmm. till we start uh but i just saw how there's <laughs> he's a little character and it's so cute it is yes so, uh, oh, the speed. Oh, oh that's just... that was lines a couple oh, minutes ago. How do you do that? That is so I am cool. a very fast artist. You are stunning. Wow. Quick. Yeah. Really? People uh, who play Gardic go... Phone with me hate me. <laughs> <laughs> go, go to them. Go to them. We all want to talk about Hellhounds. <laughs> yeah. Tell, talk, about, uh, talk about Hellhounds. Hellhounds, you're the one that would know. Tell us all about, about your own self. I am Helen Stoddy. I am a PNG tuber, as you can clearly see, because I am actually streaming this on my end as well at Hellhounds20 on Twitch. But I would Ooh. encourage people to go watch Dirty 20 Gaming right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm a PNG tuber. I am a dungeon master. I'm an artist and I'm a gamer. I play wherever the hell I want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I could, you could put that on a shirt. I play wherever the hell I want. <laughs> Which brings us around. And to... you look angry too in that. <laughs> An angry squirrel. Yeah. I uh, don't know if you guys are able to hear my alerts, but I just suddenly heard like the little girl from a Despicable Me go, It's so fluffy! Oh, <laughs> 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 
Thank yeah, no, I don't. I don't have audio turned on for Twitch, but we can't. Okay, so that confirms that they can't. That uh, you guys can't hear what's no, going our on. Our stream can't hear that. I can't. No. no, not unless I think you can share. But yeah. yeah. Uh, so, this brings us around to our uh, uh, our new player, another new player, which makes me so happy. I love getting people in to join us. Uh, please, if you would be so kind, uh, Deku Lily, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where can we find you, if anywhere in the social media world? Um, hello everyone. I am Deku Lily. Um, I don't really have much of an online presence unless you count Tumblr, in which case, enter if you dare, I suppose. <laughs> I'm also a chronic lurker. Um, if there is has been a comment made on Dirty Twenty's YouTube, then I more than likely left it. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I um, that you have left quite literally hundreds of spinning hearts, and I have <laughs> looked at every single one of them. So thank you for that. Uh, it's um, I you you know this. Uh, I do this. Part of the reason I like this is because I like being watched, and uh, you have been one of the people that has consistently watched everything we've done, and it's it is a joy deep in my being to finally be able to bring you into a game. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you for running. Oh, you're very welcome. <clears throat> We're going to get to the game in a minute, but first, because I'm me, I had to go and do some research on Robin Hood uh, just to sort of move us along. Obviously, the game is called Sherwood. It says, say at the bottom, Outlaws and Arcana, and we're going to get to that in a second. But first, a little bit of history and how it affects us. Uh, let's start with that Arcana, the first thing regarding magic. Uh, it's not traditional in a large part of the Robin Hood stories. But it is fair to say that curses, prophecies, spellcraft, fey spirits, and even dragons are part of that timeline's belief system in the real and in the fictional world. So there is an element of magic in this that some people may choose to uh, use. I think you're going to see that it fits. Uh, it isn't like somebody slapped it on at the end. It it makes sense in this world. So that's all I'm going to say about magic for now. <clears throat> uh, regarding that timeline I talked about, real and fictitious, uh, there's some stuff that's not in this because uh, they're taking, in this case, uh, the original stories were put out originally. The oldest ones they can find, the oldest reference I found was 1370s, somewhere in that region. The whole Saxon-Norman politics that got sucked into this later didn't actually get pulled in until the 19th century. So we're not going to do that. Uh, and as for King Richard the Lionheart, uh, never in the uh, early stories, or even in the Midland stories, they are a very late addition to the tale, and they seem to have been added as a literary timing device. If only we can protect the world until the king gets back. It allows you to get to the end of the fifth act and send everybody home. Uh, when the king rides on, everybody goes, yay. So it's not in original stories. So it's not here. Uh, the Crusades did happen in this world. Uh, and, uh, you know, nobles and yeomen are coming and going all the time. Uh, oh, there's tights everywhere, Scott. Oh, tights and tights. It's just tights in, in, in all places. <clears throat> tights and fight spaces. Great one shot. Go watch it. Really funny. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, back to this. This is the quote I was looking for. Uh, this is actually from the manual itself. The outlaws are not waiting for a true king to return and grant them pardons, but they've gone to the woods to pursue justice and to rescue people from the predatory powers that be. That's page one of this manual. That's like, it's right down here. <clears throat> Right in this page here, right here. So, going with that, we're going to keep moving along here. Uh, usually, uh, to be fair, I usually explain the game mechanics first and then talk character creation, but we're going to do it the other way around because you're going to see why in a minute. So, and yes, Don, this is that bit down here, waiting for uh, King Richard to return the lovely wave. They phrased it here, fuck the true king. Uh, but <clears throat> in that spirit, I do, oh, I'm glad I stopped. There's a paragraph here I want to read out of this manual, and I love it. Uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, nope. Hang on. I missed it. Oh, 
is down here. Yes, down here, making a character. Just before we start making the character. Under the heading Gender and Sexuality, I'm going to read the whole paragraphs. Stories of Robin Hood are many things, but at their heart, they are outlaw tales that put their protagonists at odds with the authoritarians and their families, governments, and religions. Much like the LGBT plus community now, and in the actual Middle Ages, your characters are not limited to heterosexual relationships, social assumptions about gender roles, the gender they were assigned at birth, or their society's binary assumptions of gender identity. Sherwood welcomes knights who aren't men, paramours who aren't of the opposite sex, whatever that means, and non-binary wayfarers along the royal highways. Game masters and players who find themselves too limited and bigoted to enjoy queer representation are welcome to find other games. That's like in that the manual, so good for them. <clears throat> we aren't even all human. That's right. Uh, oh, we're going to get nope. to that. <laughs> <laughs> so. so let's start there. Uh, bu -bu 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 yes. Let's start making characters uh we did there is a fillable sheet some of us are going to use paper some of us aren't uh yeah i'd love that uh and i didn't know it was there uh, i started the more i read this book the more i love these people so um <clears throat> you want your tights you support the people buy yes. it at drive through rpg and uh scott we are a not for uh, not for profits tights organization around here you're gonna have to provide your own <laughs> so, <clears throat> so Let's make some characters on the list here. First things first, describe where your outlaw grew up. Now, I don't mean a town or a county or anything like that, obviously, but who were they? And this doesn't have to be major league serious. We're going to get to the details uh, when, we, when we actually, uh, this uh, game uses a timeline um, experience system. So we're actually going to build your past as we go along for now. I just need to know, are you British? Are you from the mainland? Are you German? Are you Italian? Are you French? Are you, are you Scottish? Are you Irish? I don't care if they exist. Go ahead. Um, where are you from, Bob? I'm British. Yes. I name my tights Bob as well, Scott, because that's what they prevent me from doing. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to tell me your answers to these, but this is uh this is the first part of your oh. backstory, right? So just basically where My are you from? In other words, basically, are you gonna do an accent? <laughs> no, because I can't do them. <laughs> you can't help make it me cough anyway. Make Bison, thank you. Kinda... You do it. Um, I was going to tonight, uh, it's going to confuse me if I do it now, I realize. But uh, the character you make tonight, keep us up to date in chat, and I will turn it into an NPC in this game. Uh, I'm sorry, Deku, I cut you off several times. Go ahead. Um, My world history is extremely rusty. I kind of did want to do a Scottish thing, but... Yep. Then you, uh... are, then you are Scottish. Um... <laughs> this is probably a good time to introduce it. It's not in the technically in the manual over here, but uh, they talk in the manual about the Disney lore and all the different ways the Robin Hood story has been told. And I said Disney twice and kind of gave it away, didn't I? Uh, Disney is one of the people that has done this story, and they did it in a very Disney-esque fashion. And uh, a lot, I don't think all, but a lot of the uh, the protagonists and antagonists were anim animals, anamorphic, uh, sorry, yeah. humaniform. I think yeah. they all were. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the entire yeah. cast was. I'm trying to remember critters. because I considered making all the bad people humans, uh, and then I changed my mind because it's too predictable. Uh, but anyway, I mean, so yeah. Ro so that Robin Hood had a chicken playing football with rhinos. Oh yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> in, a, in true Disney form. Ever. So. Uh, given that, um, yes, some of you, all of you, or any of you that choose to do so may play as uh, uh, animals. And that gives me the freedom to make some of your NPCs animals as well. So, a wee McFeagle. A wee weasel. A wee weasel. Yeah. A wee weasel that kicks chickens. Yeah. All right. 
I'm turning away now before I already created it in PC. Uh, okay. See, Shara, it's not just you. Other people <laughs> also have difficulty with chat sometimes. Uh, oh no, I was I had to mute myself because I was like, like the, the is that supposed to be like something really funny, like that's Scottish. So I just kept saying it in like the Scottish accent that I use, yeah. and I was like, I don't get it. It's it's. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my God. So. That was our first day. We got through one. That's good. We're off and rolling. Woohoo! We are going to roll attributes in the weirdest damn way I have ever seen attributes rolled. Those of you that are using real dice, uh, get them out. You're going to need uh, about two of them. Uh, those of you who are doing, doing digital dice, enable digital dice. <clears throat> You're going to roll. There are four stats in this game that I should talk about first. Uh, and uh, they are what's up on the Roll20 uh, screen if you sit right at the top of the first two scrolls. They are, your four stats are Endurance, Luck, Willpower, and Wits. I put them in that order very specifically. They're alphabetically. They're in that, re that order because when you roll your stats you the first time, you roll them in order. But let's go through them first because... This is the coolest mechanic in this game. This is the neat thing. Your stats are not just numbers. Your attributes are not just numbers. They are a usable and renewable resource. When you get hurt, your endurance stat goes down. When you use up luck to do things, your luck score goes down. So you, it's harder to do stuff next time. When you use your willpower to cast spells, your willpower goes down. Uh, there are three things you can do with each of your stats. I didn't mention wits, but they're the same thing. There's three things you can do with each of these stats to burn points during the game. And I want to go through those first before we start rolling stats, just so you know. Because they do what they normally do. Endurance, that's your physical body. The three things you do that are important about that is any dam physical damage you take reduces your endurance, unless it's otherwise specified. Exhaustion. Any time you have made a uh, archery, athletics, or melee check. So in other words, any time you've made a roll in, in a fight, if you don't like the results, you can burn three endurance to improve that roll by three. But it puts you on the brain, you know, it gets you closer and closer to passing out. The third one is psychic exhaustion. If you're a caster, and you're using your willpower, and your willpower drops to zero, you can choose to use your endurance for the cost of arcane talents. So you can burn yourself out mentally and then burn yourself out physically casting. That's just endurance. That's just the first one. Second one is luck. This one is exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, at any point during the game, assuming there is someone near here, you can spend a single luck point to go, I know a guy. <laughs> and you know a guy one luck point that's all it costs um the rule of three this is a good one to remember because in various ways it applies to most of these but for if you burn three luck points you can modify any roll you make other than a skill roll so any save or anything like that by by three points for each three points you spend so it's expensive but three points is huge when you're only rolling 2d6 so it's a big, big bonus. And my favorite thing that they came up with for luck, universal save. Your main stat, <clears throat> you're in trouble. You've burned it all up. You got two left. You know you're not going to make the save if you have to because you have to roll 2d6 and roll under your current level. You can make a universal save against your luck. So you roll against your current luck rather than the stat that you should use. But after you go, and I've, I've modified this slightly, if it succeeds you reduce your luck by one. I'm not going to have it fail and then have it uh, and then pay for it, right? Uh, so <clears throat> I'll just keep running down the roll here. Uh, willpower, that's your magic. That's your caster ability. Uh, spend three willpower to improve your sorcery or arcane talent roll by three. So when you make that roll, you crank it up. Um, you you pay cantri to cast cantrips and spells. This is what you use as your willpower. But there's another one. This is the big one here is shrug it off. You can use your willpower just like you could do it the other way. Uh, you can do it this way too. You can spend one willpower for each point of damage that you take, but your outlaw must absorb 
all of that damage with their willpower. Where that's really useful is for the people that don't cast. Because you can use that willpower as a, as a way to absorb damage before it gets to your endurance. The fourth one, real, real quick. Wits. I can figure this out. If you spend two wits uh, to make your check, uh, you get to have one in that skill. So you roll 2d6 plus one uh, instead of rolling at disadvantage, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, you can directly question the GM, break the fifth wall, look up through the ceiling, and say, ask a question, and I have to answer it, uh, for two wits. If you don't get an answer that gives you any information that you didn't already have, you get your points back. And if that's not enough, you have, I know this, which is after you make a skill check, uh, you can spend three wits to increase it by three. So that's... This I the, the I like this for many many reasons because it makes you think. But one of the big reasons I like this is it kind of self prevents min maxing. You don't want to be really really bad at any of these things, right? Because it's mm -hmm. a glaring weakness. There's a whole bunch of stuff you cannot do if you're weak at something. So Lord help you if you roll bad. Oh yes. Well, we're <laughs> we're gonna fix that because it's dirty twenty plus. There's also a built in uh, thing for that. So. In order, and this is why I suggested if you've got a notepad or a piece of paper, if you are so inclined, or if you're organized, you can do it on the sheet. Roll 2d6 four times and assign those attributes in order. So your first 2d6 goes to endurance, your second one goes to luck, your third one goes to willpower, fourth one goes to wits. Oh, Asterix was a joy. <clears throat> so we start rolling now? You can roll anytime you like, absolutely, yep. And I trust everybody's. Um, for each stat um, yep. <laughs> on the printed out character sheet. Yep. So there's four. There's, yeah. yeah, and there's an underscore slash underscore. Which yes. side of the slash does our stat go on? Thank you. For uh, now, just fill in the right-hand side because we're going to be moving them and adjusting them uh, before we're done actual attribute creation. And then when we're done, we'll... It'll be, it will become of, you know, if you had 10, it'll be 10 of 10, 8 of 8, whatever those numbers are. But yes, thank you for filling out the character sheet right now. Oh, Lord. Which I can actually show these folks. Uh, there, is that the one? I think that's, that's the wrong one. This one. That's the one I want. Nope, it is this one. Uh, on the right-hand side, I know you can see part of another one, but that's just the way this uh, uh, Adobe shows me screens. But you can see at the top, there's your four attributes, uh, endurance, luck, willpower, and wits. And as pointed out, they are separated mm. by slashes. So, um, <clears throat> so well, oh, I this is perfect. Um, yeah, Sans, you are going to be uh, showing us, you're going to show us how some of this really works. Uh, I know oh you're, God, you're making that yes. face already. No, no, don't worry. This gets cool. Yeah. So I'm just looking at it and like... Except wow. I want to put them in the reverse order. Yep. Well, there's the, yeah, that's the other thing, too, is order. So those of you, um, has everybody got their four in order? Yeah, I did endurance, yeah. luck, willpower, and wits. Yep. Mm -hmm. But everybody's done their roles and got them in spaces. Perfect. Okay, Steve. Uh, <laughs> so I know, look at that face. It's horrible, but it's not bad because, let's go back to this. Reroll your lowest attribute. All of you. Rolling? Yep. <laughs> Helps if I'm in the right screen. Are you serious? You rolled four, you don't have real dice? Uh, <laughs> I, no, I'm switching over to my real dice. Yes, go to your real dice. Uh, because, but, we're gonna we're gonna go through the whole process anyway, but even the process can't save you if you keep rolling like that. <laughs> I mean I can try, it. but man. No, oh, I'm I'm having ace luck tonight. No, this would be when I would step in as a GM and go, never happened, warm up rolls, do that again. But, <laughs> so yes, four rolls of 2d6 in order. Yeah, I re-rolled my lowest. Okay, now, once you've re-rolled your lowest, higher. you pick the higher of the two, your choice. Yeah. And then, once you've done that, now swap any two stats. Only two? At this point, yes. I shouldn't have said that. Yes, there is no okay. additional point. Uh, and which, actually, which order are they supposed to be? Oh, it's supposed to be, okay, endurance first, then luck. Alphabetical order. Endurance, yeah. luck. Okay, so, so yeah. right and then down. Yes, yeah, sorry. 
Yeah, it's the, she does not the yeah. The sheet and I didn't do it in the same order. Oh good grief. That's okay. What did you wow. what did you end up with then? I have a six and a nine right now. I six and a nine, okay. Power and I got a two. A two? That's okay, because you're gonna re-roll that one. So that's three sets. You got one more. You got a six and a nine and the one you're gonna throw away. Okay, six, five, seven, and a five, so that's Eleven. Eleven. 11. Okay. Nice. Which is the one that I needed it for. And... Stop putting my face <laughs> on my tablet. I need that. <laughs> okay. So what did you end up with? I just have terrible luck. Uh, six, nine, eleven, five. That's not bad. Okay. That's after you did the reroll mm -hmm. of your lowest one. Perfect. Okay. So everybody's done the reroll of their lowest stat. Now. Yes, and I I did the swap. The you switched them two. as well. Okay. And oh, I, you said I could swap, right? You can I, swap I haven't any done my two. swap yet. So yeah, Karis and Sam. Uh, do we have, do yes. we have to swap or? No, not at all. No. Okay. No, but you can swap. Mine is fine. Yeah. <laughs> nine, mine was in exactly nine. the opposite order of how I wanted them. Oh. Mine was nine, <laughs> ten, seven, nine, nice. and that's after the reroll. Nice. Wow, that's a pretty good set. Nice, nice, nice. Now, um. If, uh, bah, 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 bah. I don't know if this applies. I don't think it applies to anybody anymore. If two or more of the, your attributes are still five or less, does that, does that apply to anybody? Yeah, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Here's where it gets cool. Add a single D6 to both of them. So roll a D6 and add it to both of those. Another one. Another one. Well, at least that makes oh, it, because no. that was the five, right? So that makes that a six. Yeah, that's a five. Now, what was your other one? Oh, that's it. I just. Oh, there was only the a... one. Okay. Yeah, there's only one. It was a five. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the added d6 is only if two of your stats are less five. Yeah, or but less. we just broke mm -hmm. that rule, and I was just about to say. So yes, uh, any okay. stat that is five or less, uh, because it's the first time we played it. Let's uh, let's put a little bit of padding in here. Uh, anybody who's got a stat that is still five or less, roll a d6 and add it to that. My lowest numbers are six, so I don't get to. Oh, oh, rude. Yeah, because my, my second lowest number is a six, six. So oh, there you go. Okay. So now I have squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> That's squirrel. <laughs> All right. So now you got your stats. Now you can fill in both sides of that. Uh, that slash, right? Okay. And this so we is put the same number on both sides. Same correct? number both sides. This is your max. And then as you use them, that's the those that first number is going to come down. Right? The second number will stay where it is. So if yep. you had ten, right? You got ten of so ten. The right current and max. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whichever way you like, I typically do current slash max. But however, it's your character sheet, and I can't see them in this. So you do it however you like. Uh, but it's your current. You but haven't you always made a use. custom sheet yet. I I made the fillable one in out of one 20. that wasn't. Oh, out of in roll twenty. No, I'm not going to make sheets in roll twenty. We're only using it for this for this information page, as far as I'm concerned. But <laughs> which only you guys can see at this point. But and I realized I talked about stuff I could have shown them. So there's your four uh, your attributes. Now the next thing is your background abilities. Some of this is on the sheet, uh, on the character sheet. There are a couple that aren't. Uh, and uh, so I'm just going to read these ones out here. You get to choose two of these and the background and the skills that come with. Uh, skills is very easy in this game. We t I said every time you do a skill, you roll 2d6s. Or every time you try and do something, you roll 2d6s and then add the level of your skill. So if you take a skill once, it's level one. If you take a skill twice, it's level two. Easy. Uh, so choose two at this point. So you could start with one level two. So aristocrat, your outlaw's family had land and titles. You know the etiquette and riding skills. Dabbler, your outlaw knows the sorcery skill. So you can take this twice to get sorceries two and allow you to be a caster. Uh, uh, Jack of all trades. Normally, you would have disadvantage on rolls for anything that you were doing that you didn't have that relevant skill, but this outlaw does not. So it's the it's jack of all trades, uh, as known in another game. Uh, there is heroic ability. Here's where you can keep saving yourself if you still got that six and you still needed to be better than it was. 
for you spending one of your two or two if you like you can add a d6 to any one attribute and you may take this ability twice there's also arcane talent where you can choose to be either uh true seeing uh illusion necromancy or pyromancy so nice and simple uh see stuff see fake stuff <laughs> dead stuff <laughs> and burn stuff easy uh, you can take this twice to improve one to two or choose two talents. And then there's background skills. You get to choose two there. Athletics, archery, melee, herbalism, performance, riding, silver tongue, streetwise, thievery, or etiquette. If you want to be a bard, you could take two of those too. So this is just the very, very, very beginning. This is essentially what you learned before you even started growing up, as far as so, this game is concerned. I think they're going to flavor aristocrat day differently because yeah. my family didn't have it. Yeah. You know, given the, the, the premise, the character premise I put out. Yeah. My family didn't have it, but my association, I could know etiquette and writing. Oh, absolutely. Um, instead of, uh, yeah, instead of aristocrat, I would call it, uh, were you clergy or were you a lay? Uh, no, person? no, I was, I was uh, a mistress. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, we'll I'm leave a nun it... now, but I was a mistress. Ah, okay. I see. In that case, we'll leave it as aristocrat and just chain, uh, yeah. It's just, it's not my family. Yeah. It's not my family. It's my yeah. association. Yes. Perfect. So yeah, change that one word and you're there. Perfect. Uh, any other, anybody else questions? You don't even have to tell me. This is just, uh, we're just going through the process. So sure. If you like, uh, I took background what? skills twice. Oh, ho, ho, you're going to be the Jack, the true Jack of all trades. Yes. May I be so bold as to ask which, uh, four skills you took then? Oh, I thought I could. Oh, because you uh, get two, sc two skills each time uh, you take it. So. Or you could do the same Athletics, skills. Melee, archery, and I guess. I better take. Athletics, melee, archery. Uh, That's the three fightings. So, what else do you want to be good at? <laughs> I'm torn between herbalism and writing. I'm well, doing. Considered to be so, torn. So, You've I was got kind of week, thinking of background right? skills, but yep. taking herbalism twice instead of two skills. Yep. And that way, when you made herbalism checks, you would add two instead of one. Yeah, because I thought I could take athletics twice if yep. i took background skills twice. yes you certainly can all skills that you take stack so you could imagine you okay. get a skill up to four you're rolling two d6s eight by the way is a success uh, any combination of eight or higher so you can imagine a plus four uh, and you can't roll less than two yeah. although double ones is so, always a fail but if we wanted this is just my understanding. We could go with jack of all trades and background skills. Yes. Yep. So you okay. would take two skills plus have no disadvantage on anything else. So. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with aristocrat and arcane talent necromancy. Nice. Okay. Perfect. That's everybody, right? You got your two chosen, Karis. I know we got one of yours. The aristocrat? Yeah, I've got two. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I'm going with uh, herbalism twice. Background right. skills. Background skills. Take herbalism up. to get herbalism twice. Perfect. So now, like I said, that uh, weirdly enough, your magical talents all show up in childhood. I guess historically they kind of do. Um, so this is now. You gotta apprentice them when they're young. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gotta get them out in the backyard. Uh, so that is. Uh, Yes. Now, it is time to come of age. Uh, legally, in this case. 18, they do it in this world, even though that would be uh, much older than they actually would in that sort of Dark Ages era. Uh, mm -hmm. But at 18, you now choose... You must... Well, you don't have to. You. It is expected you would choose at least one career. And we're just going to go through this first one just as a... Um, an example. Now, there's also, before anybody panics, there's roles here. Um, the way it's written, you would roll for your skills and hard knocks and whatever else is on here. Uh, I am allowing free choice instead. Uh, if you want to roll, please do. If you want to choose, please do. Uh, 
but we're just going to do the first one and then you guys can sort of scroll through and see what you want to do. Uh, first one is Young Outlaw. So you will just went right off the deep end right away. You went right straight into the criminal life. So you get thievery and one other skill from athletics, carousing, performance, or streetwise. And yes, they all stack. Um, lucky breaks or hard knocks. Even during character creation, even once you make a choice, there's still random numbers. You roll 2d6. If your luck is greater than 8, you add 2 to your roll. On an 8+, plus, you roll on the lucky breaks table or choose from the lucky breaks table. If you fail that roll, roll, roll or choose 2 from hard knocks. So I'm going to make you roll the the eight plus rule, if you do this, and then decide uh, which of those two, and then it's up to you whether you choose a rule. Okay, so we're doing the which plus rule? Say this again. It's up, It's uh, this was just an example uh, for this particular, there, it's different for every career. So I realize we're gonna have to go through the, the, the starting stuff of every career because it is different in some cases. So this is young outlaw if you choose to be a criminal. <clears throat> There's also, um, the wolf's head. That's a, a phrase I, I probably won't end up using it much because in modern parlance, wolf head is kind of cool. Uh, what it meant then was you were worth less than a wolf's head, which had no value legally. I'm going to use outlaw because in its true form, it means outside the law. The two things mean the same thing. You have no rights. You have been declared to be outside the law. You cannot go to court and defend yourself. You cannot uh, stop people from taking your stuff you are, by being a career, you are outside the law. So this, then if you choose that, choose or roll to see what you were accused of. And then you get to tell us whether you, well, you're doing, put it on your sheet, probably don't want to tell us uh, whether you were guilty or not. But that's just the first one. The next one, uh, the hermit. <clears throat> Some of these, uh, uh, actually this one allows anybody who wants to join. Some of these, you have to roll to see if you make it in. And if you don't, you have to pick another one. So you might not get your first choice. Uh, the Hermit, um, anybody can join. You get. You can see the tables there. I'm not going to go through all of these, but there's always this. Uh, so for Hermit, you, oh, you get the forestry skill. But the thing is, every time you take one of these, you roll 1d6 and add that many years to your character's age. And you can take as many of them as you want. So the Hermit has certain skills. The Guild Trader, obviously, is going to give you certain skills. Silver Tongue and Intimidation and all those things. The Wandering Performer, same idea. You can, um, uh, that's very much Bardy. That's one of the ones where you have to, um, if your Outlaw has a performance skill, you, become, you can become one automatically. If not, roll 2d6 on an 8+. plus. You may become one. Uh, and it always tells you what bonuses you can have in there, too. Cavalier, an aristocratic character, can be choose to become a, uh, a cavalier. Anybody else has to roll. Free laborer. This is kind of a cool one. It's you're just, <clears throat> it's a it's a very different set of skills. Uh, this is actually the group that the yeoman class came from. They made it the law that they you had to practice uh, longbow archery a certain number of hours a week. And then they used them in the wars and they turned out to be absolutely devastating. But absolutely everybody is proficient with the longbow. There's no proficiency in this game, but in that world, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, so yes. Notorious criminal is another choice. Um, I'd like that you get to choose whether you were notorious or just a, uh, what was the first one? Uh, I guess you could do both, young outlaw and then become notorious. Or you can do as many of these as you want. Uh, so you could be, you know, a, a very aged um, uh, character by the time you actually start. But it ends but at notorious more, trimmers. The more, the more trouble you get into. Yes, exactly. But the more skills you have as well, because you can see this gives you skills. Yeah. And, well, and, and that's yeah. what I was thinking too, because, I mean, my backstory, mm -hmm. I am older, and that's why I shifted, yes. you know, when when... Baron, what's his so, name, died, I shifted to becoming a nun because I was too old to continue as a mistress to somebody else. Sure. So, so yeah, I wanted to have more skills. Perfect. Give, give so that, that's, uh, how many is there here? There's young outlaw, hermit. You can take any of these more than once, too, and take that. Yeah, and I'm skills, sitting here. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting here. Hermit, it's like trainer, none of the descriptions fit. Performer, so I'm kind of looking at the skill sets. Free driver, notorious criminal. Because, yeah, there's seven, right, to choose from. 
<clears throat> so so one thing I don't quite know, I mm -hmm. don't quite understand is, for example, under the Hermit of St. Eustace. Yes. Yep. Um, so there's three sets. There's Hermitage Life has a set of skills and Secular Concerns has a set of skills yep. and Spiritual Secrets has, has a set of skills. So I, I don't I, I don't understand. And each of these has a set of three. I don't mm -hmm. understand what I'm supposed to do with the three different so, sets. Do I choose one of them? Do I choose... You actually... Um... When you, well, if you were to take uh, the hermit, you get forestry for free as a skill. Right. Uh, that's uh, for everybody. Then you add one d six years to your age. Then roll one d six twice on the table below, and you choose, or in this case, choose your choice. Roll or choose. Uh, I've added that uh, uh -huh. twice on the table below, choosing one column to roll on and taking the skill or bonus from each roll. You may roll on the same column both times or different columns each time. So okay. short answer: <clears throat> pick any two of those. Okay. If you're doing because like I don't yeah. have a lot of I because I really, it, yeah, and I might go with this even though it doesn't make any sense because this is Just the hermitage the life. That yeah. yeah, that's how I'm choosing because the yep. flavor doesn't fit, and that's yep. the only one I can see that has crafting on it. Absolutely, yeah, and that's a great way to do it. If none of these, if none of the descriptions fit, then look at the tables. Uh, so and I can back it up because I can, I can. Mm -hmm you know, sort of choose my age and, and then figure not, out how will. many 1d6 that is. And yep. that's how many roles I have for skills. Exactly. Yep. Yes, you Got can it. absolutely do this backwards. I like that. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Uh, has anybody picked their what their first one's going to be? And we can just walk through the process. Sarah? Um, or, oh, Deku, you, you ummed first. That is the official d20 I'm, way. That means you're next. I'm uh... <laughs> I chose free laborer for myself. All right. And um, the the first two skills I chose were plus one endurance and cart yes. driving. Okay. So uh, you also took archery and athletics again because of yes. time in the village. Okay. And added the 1d6 yes. years and then chose two from yes. that table. Yes. My 1d6 was <clears throat> plus four. You so now... are the killing machine in this party you are yeah you have all the robin hood skills <laughs> and yes um, there are notice with some of these yes you can actually change it gotta be good at something yes <laughs> so now uh again Tank, if you yeah. did plus one endurance so now you're gonna have to go change both numbers before and after the dash oh i forgot to change that yeah because you get oh, those two right. which uh, and it also uh, it also brings up a good thing so thank you for choosing this some of the things you can choose change your actual attributes and not just give you skills. So it's all a play because if you don't have a skill specifically that you can tell me you use, you roll at disadvantage and advantage, uh, which is which we'll talk about now. Disadvantage in this uh, and advantage in this game works in a really interesting fashion. Yet another cool mechanic. Let's start with advantage. So you've earned advantage in some way. Uh, instead of rolling two dice, you roll three, and you pick which two you want to use. Usually the highest two, right? Typically. Uh, if you're rolling disadvantage, you roll three, and I choose which two to use. Normally they'd be the worst ones, but if I but what this does is gives me the, the narrative freedom to, if I need it to succeed, I can choose two dice which make it succeed as long as you rolled enough. Right? So at least it just makes the choice mine. It doesn't auto fail. So it allows me to do fail forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, so, free labor, that was your first one. Were you going to do anything else, uh, Deku? Uh, you can do as many as you like. You started really off at 18. About it. Yeah. So, eight, did you roll your D6 for age for this? Yeah. Okay. It was a plus four. So, right yeah. now, my character is 22 years 22. old. 22. Yeah. Keep a running tab on that. And, and um, then we'll, I'll leave you alone for now. Uh, and we'll come back to you after we've given you a couple of minutes. whether or not yeah. to make him older or not. Yeah. Because. I'm really close to getting one more trouble than I had planned for. Right. Well, we'll let you think, uh, and we'll move well, on. Well, I'm going to be 40, so I'm going to have plenty of trouble. you got all kinds of time, yeah. Let me know, and I'm not worried. Yeah, we've we've got you figured out. You're just you're just cruising, picking skills at this point. I can see you got your happy face on, so don't forget well, the automatic Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of like because I knew what my character was, yep. and it's like, okay, how do I... 
how do yeah. I implement that in these mechanics is the, the only, only question. The only thing I'll remind you is remember your free ones. Every one of them starts with uh, a sentence like a uh, free laborer starts with time in the village, gain the blank and blank skills or, you know, for hermit, it was gain forestry mm -hmm. for free labor. You get archery and athletics. These are free. Don't forget them. And then just read that next little bit down. Usually it's two dice, but some of them are weird. So. Uh, which brings us around to uh, Sarah. What was your first choice? Um, so I f think I'm going to start with Young Outlaw. Okay. Um, Straight to the bed. Not by choice. <laughs> no, no, perfect. Yeah, I love it. So, <clears throat> yes, this is cool. Uh, so you gain thievery as a skill. And then you get to choose from athletics, carousing, performance, and streetwise. I think I'm going to choose performance. Okay. Oh, I like this. Uh, yep. You're you're like a. I'm not not to put the the specific con in there, but for lack of a better phrase, you're a card shark. You're like the three card Monty kid, who's <laughs> stealing that way, right? Not just grabbing your wallet and running, right? This that's what this tells yeah. me as a performance skill, right? Yeah. I, so. If, yeah, and if you add a skill you already have, increase it by one instead. So, did you do the 2d6 roll yet? Not yet. Cool. I'm afraid to. Is your luck, is your luck eight or higher? My luck is nine. There you go. So, add two. 2d6 plus two. Okay, so how bad is this? Let's see. So, it's nine plus... Wow. Plus two. Eleven. Plus two. So oh, yeah, you absolutely, you get, uh, you're on the lucky breaks table. So you can take one of those, uh, roll or take your choice. I think silver tongue. Makes perfect Works sense. Yep. To go along with performance and all that good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. And. I'm forgetting. Yeah. Do you have I a need to run something by you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I'm Sarah's right. Kinda... So yeah. I'm kind of thinking age 40. Okay. And I looked up average lifespan in England and Wales yeah. uh, around 1400 or so, and it went from 48 to 54. Yeah. So that's about, so 40 is about right in the lifespan. Yep. Yeah. I then was playing around with a, a dice calculator thing that averages 3.5 average, yeah. Per D6. Well, yeah. well, actually, so 20 D6 averages to 36.75 so i figure i've got 20 d6 okay yep so that's 20 plus skills. the freeze plus yeah. the freeze plus the freebies right? yeah this is like way more than i was there's expecting only when i said i was going to try and make a case there's only seven of them there so you get all the if you want you can take all the freeze and still yeah and then 20 skills so so are you okay with me using yes. this method yep you are gandalf Yep, absolutely. Okay, I, well, I know it's Lord. wrong. I know wrong story, oh, but the, yeah. This is the benefit yep. of being, you know, being on you know, older door. than middle age. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm not on death's door. I still have, if average you, you've got months among left. <laughs> average, I've got eight years left, and yep. I could be in a privileged position. I could outlive that. So, you know, especially when I'm amongst such fine people as yep. this. Besides, I'm an herbalist. Let me tell you, I got oh, levels in herbalism. So I know and, how yep. to make everybody healthy and keep oh, myself man. well. But so have fun. That's gonna I've, I'm guessing you're gonna need extra space. I'm guessing you end up with 30 skills. No, there's seven. They all give you at least one, so that's going to be at least 10 plus a 20. Yeah, I'm going to guess you end up with 30 skills. <clears throat> Never hear Karis fight for eight months. <laughs> <laughs> this so, is not Minecraft, Scott. I'm not going splat at every turn, Oops, so except have, for my chair here. <laughs> so have fun with that uh, as you deflate. Um, yeah. So you're you're gone. Uh, you're on your own. Sarah, yes. You're pointing okay. and doing things. So it's... Then it's accusation. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. yeah. Roll or okay. choose, or do you have oh, a story? Already, you already have a story. I already have a story. Perfect. Okay. All I've right. been. Yeah. It it finally came to me when I was like, I need to figure out this character, yeah. and then it came to me. I was like, yes, perfect. Excellent. Um, um, because it is a criminal one, I won't ask you to share. You can if you choose, but you can absolutely mm -hmm. keep it uh, quiet too. So. So. Uh, um, his his. Or not his. Their crime is illicit sorceries. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Love yep. it. So, yeah. And then you say who accused you and what evidence they presented. 
And was it true? And considering you have sorcery as a skill, that still doesn't mean you were guilty. They might have seen you making a lunch. Uh, they just thought you were being sorcery because you used romaine on a sandwich. Like, something wrong with you. But <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I ate a tomato and didn't die. Yes, something like this, exactly. Oh, yeah. God, that old Next. story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Um, and so once you get that on your sheet, um, did you roll your 1d6? How old is you now? Um... Don't let me rush you. Get your stuff down first. I hate going back to half done notes. So finish your notes. I don't have a, quite a place to put this. Like I don't know where to put it on the sheet itself. What's that? Oh well. Huh? Just the background information. Oh, um. Too much. I think it's on the second page. Uh, okay. Actually, technically, at the bottom of the first page, that little tiny box. But equipment and load is where I would put it because we're not going to use that much, uh, if at all. That the only thing that's going to go in there is special equipment that you guys are carrying. So go ahead and pop that in there. Use that space. Yeah. It's kind of an oversized space for the way that the mechanic works in this game. And then I'm making it even easier because I don't like inventory pages. Uh, Hermit in the woods. People go to see him to see the future. He's got true seeing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a witch. And I'll keep him supplied with herbs. There you go. His true sea and herbs. What do you see in the future? Let me give me a minute, man. Hold on, I'll tell I you in a second. Him. Grabs a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in twelve hours. <laughs> and I'll be feeling good. Mm -hmm. Actually, in twelve hours I'll be really sleepy, but I'll have such a story to tell you. Uh anyway. So uh, you're still writing. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you cool. said age. We couldn't. We were rolling for. Yeah, I'm going to make you roll for that. So one d six every for every career you pick. No, you'll roll the six. Um, Watch this. Yep. Huh? If I roll a six, I, was I will be the impression shot. that you picked one career and you could roll however many years and get two skills off of that same table. Every time you take it. You can take the two skills, but every time you take it, you roll 1d6 for age. Is that what you meant? Yeah, so like instead of taking different careers, you stayed on the one career yes. like free labor. And exactly. Yeah. So more off of that particular table. Exactly. So that's what I did. Yeah. So if you take a career, you like everything, like, yes, very, thank you. Very good point. Uh, you can stack careers just like you can mm -hmm. stack other things. So you could go in there and take six skills. Uh, if say you took the career three times, you could go in and take six skills or two skills, three times each and crank it through the roof. Uh, and then you, at the end of that, you'd roll 3d6 to see how much you aged. Um, by the way, I took free labor a second time, yep. and my 1d6 for age was 1, so I'm 23 now. And That's superb. Yep. I a prodigy. Took forestry and archery for the two skills for that particular d6. Yeah, you, you really are turning into Robin Hood. You can't see me in the forest, and I can put an arrow through the <laughs> dot in your left eye. Uh, well, technically, that. I'm more athletic than I am accurate. So I think that's that's where I come in because I'm I am building a character who is a hunter. Yep, perfect. So yes. I am more accurate. I'm and sorry, know I, the woods better. I've been watching you scrolling, so I've been watching you do your thing. So I I haven't mentioned anything I've, about, I've been, about hellhounds. Yeah, what are what are you been uh, doing? I did something easier myself. I took three D6s and I rolled to an age I want. And then I'm going to put those in the three careers that I want to use. Oh, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. But I'm I'm trying to figure out which one would work best for being a hunter. I'm thinking free labor for that one. Uh, for just sheer skills. Because uh... you get archery and athletics have for yeah. free. Archery. And forestry. Yeah. Forestry is on the table, I mean. Yep, work in the fields. And then there's... Yep. There's also I the guess... possibility of increasing a, uh, any one of three stats there, too. Mm -hmm. Endurance, wits, and luck are also choices there, too. And then there's a hermit. 
which would probably yeah. work. Hermit's another good set of skills I was looking. That's the one that I'm I'm interested because it's the one that caught my eye. It's the one that caught Bison's eye. It's the one that caught Karis's eye. And pretty much everybody I've, I've run this by is like, ooh, that one's interesting. <laughs> and I don't know what the third one would be. Because I'm looking at the two criminal ones, or mm -hmm. probably notorious because that one's later in years. Yeah. Well, you could also take one of the two that you've taken again. Yeah. Take free laborer again and gain some other skills. All choices, all possibilities. No cavalier as well. Interesting. No snooty snoots, even though one of us is an aristocrat. Oh, you, of course I'm you took not, it. Well, you took I'm it. You took aristocrat. it. I was the mistress of an aristocrat. I know who you are. You're normal. You guys normal? familiar with uh, uh, Puffin Forest's character Normal? They were they were invited to play in a uh, level twenty game, so they made a character that was level one in twenty uh, or in level one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you're you're talking about? Uh, not, it's not Normal. It was. Uh... Absurd. absurd absurd that's sorry yes right normal was my take on it sorry yeah absurd yeah he was level one in all the classes yeah. he was literally every single yeah. the pair the is that's that, what did he say it's a 27 page character sheet and he was only level one at anything everybody else had like a the character sheet and he had a character packet yep and, and he was terrible in all of it but yes he played the character and everybody hated him because it took him minutes to find what he wanted to do because he's got so many and things also his accent it's uh, so everybody loves that Sarah. I don't uh, know it from that one joke. Uh, yes, that's where they got uh, pleasantly famous. So, um, how are we I doing? Have a question yeah. about the troubles. Oh, okay, that's where I was going. I just wanted to make sure everybody was done oh, their okay. uh, their Never aging mind. first. I shall hold my question. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, what's up? I ended up rerolling it twice. What uh -oh. What do you mean rerolling it? Because I got a one again. Okay. So so it isn't. It is meant to be. I I was like, okay, fine. You're 19. Forget it. Okay. So he's you, just gonna... you're a prodigy. Yeah. yeah. Bang. You learn something really quick. If you if you want, I can roll for you. <laughs> have you have you seen my luck? <laughs> this is making up. This is where ones are good. You were rolled ones before and it was bad. Now you're rolling ones and it's good. You're you're gaining skills in like nine months. You don't learn skills. You have like skill children, skill babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so That's gonna... why you're a criminal now. You're learning too fast. You are also a witch. Yes. Yeah, I'm just so. going to put them to 19. Okay. Put them to 19. So and... that, get, that was two, right? You got two uh, careers by 19. That sounds like me uh, in the real world. Uh, <laughs> I was, I'm tempted. I don't know if I. Do it. Put him what I think I'm gonna do his a the other one is a wandering performer. Nice. Because I think that makes sense. Nice. Yep. All the witches and I'm, monsters. Hey, you're all outlaws I'm, I'm, for a reason. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do something that A is out of my comfort range. Excellent. So far. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make him a flirt. Them a flirt. Oh because I've never done it. I'm looking forward to this a lot. All right. So that's yours. Um, so you're basically done your choices then? That's what I was checking. Uh, Carlos, I'll check with you last. Uh, Hell Hounds? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Deku? Yeah. Yeah, I changed forestry over to one endurance. So I no longer have the forestry skill, but I am now at an endurance, max endurance of 10. Wow. Because I figure Solid. I'm going to be getting into yep. the thick things. <clears throat> that's more your than damage stuff. Yep. Uh, so. So I can take a something better than anybody else. <laughs> the annoying stepchild called Frank. Uh, Piotr. Oh, yes. uh, so, uh, Hellhounds, how are we doing? Uh, now that I understand how this works, I'm yeah. filling into the character sheet because it's a lot more organized than my crappy handwriting. <laughs> okay, yeah. But you're good as far as where you've got your uh, careers chosen and you're at the age you're going to be when the adventure starts? Yeah, my character's going to be 30 years old. Perfect. Well, we got them all covered. Excellent. Uh, so that means we can move on to troubles. Uh, if your character started as a young outlaw or a notorious criminal or was one or both, 
at any point during their career, you don't really, you've already got troubles. Uh, outlaws who came from other careers roll below to determine what misfortune befell your character, or if you want, choose if it works with the backstory you've already got. Plus two. Now, here's the thing. I, I would like you to roll because you add plus two if you're 24 to 29 years old, plus three if you're 30 or older. And because we went extremes on this, I will give you plus four for uh, old enough <laughs> over 30 that it's no longer polite to ask. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm a comfortable old day. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, any of the bulbs? Well, except I'm that just, I'm actually raising my eyebrow at that. So we are in my ass. <laughs> um, uh, well, you can roll with those modifiers or as, as like any other table in this game, uh, you can choose if it works better. If it makes more sense. Well, I kind of want to choose two, sort of. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, it was an unfortunate death that brought me down one step and I went into the nunnery. Yeah. But then it's a disobedience that got me kicked out of that. And sure. I kind of think now I have no rights. Yes. Oh, because, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I stepped all the way down from That's exactly that, what know. we're doing now. Because we did, you so know, that was I, your I, career. Then there was that moment, that's what we're doing now, that moment or moments of your downfall, or in your case, waterfall, <laughs> cascade <laughs> of downfalls. Or... Well, hey, you know, there was probably eight years between those. Yes, you know? oh, yeah. It, it so, took a while for the so for the like, abbess to give up on me, you so know? More like a, like a rapids, less like a waterfall. <laughs> but yes, well... so, um, and also uh, because I know how some roll uh, Dirty 20 Gamer uh players are you choose all those of any of these as you want if you want to pile them on it doesn't matter any one of these that you choose though the trick is they have to be enough to have put you outside the law right which is outlaw what it really means and like i said outlaw means you have no rights it doesn't mean you're a criminal and they're going to take you if they find you they'll kill you if the locals turn you in they'll get a reward so we're going to get to connections, which is the people you can trust in a little bit. But first, we got to do uh, some uh, troubles. So. Uh, well, mine's going to have to be poaching because there's no other way I'm going to survive. Sure. Because I have no resources anymore. Mm -hmm. So my, my wanted is going to be poaching. Okay. Just so, yeah, by that's necessity. Perfect. So that, that gives that's, you that. That's how most people got wanted for poaching in yes, their life. Yes, it does. So. Exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> wanted poaching. Um, you have I may no have rights. a garden now, but I have no rights to my garden. So every every leaf I pick is still more. So by choosing wanted, reduce your luck by one, your total luck, mm -hmm. and name somewhere in those notes uh, the person who accused you and the official who sentenced you, because they could very easily show up. Mm -hmm. But you get forestry uh, to pay for that when you hid in the trees. You learned the last how to, thing I need is you, more skills. You learned how to forest <laughs> some more. So, yes. Yeah. That's you done, then, right? Plus uh, anything that went before for your criminal backgrounds that you may or may not have taken. Um, Sarah, because you took the criminal background, you, you have a trouble already. Um, so, I'm going to give but you the... Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, I might also... I, I get another one because of a wandering performer, right? Or no? Uh, does wandering performer come with one? Or does... Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. They both do. Okay. Then, yeah. Then you got two. So pick the one for Wandering Performer. Okay. I I know which one it is. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Basically, yeah. I, everybody's going to end up with at least one. I love the idea of some people having two or more. Oh, obviously. Yeah. My, my accuser is the current Baron Mowbray. Oh, okay. Because I, my I patron was gonna... the prior Baron Mowbray. Oh, okay. And it's I, not I like his gonna... son is going to have anything to do with me. So it's I thought you were not like I would have gone mistress. very far. <laughs> she might have had words to much too. But uh, oh, 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 ah, oh, ah, ah, anti gravity squirrel. Because uh, <laughs> of what I rolled. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you climbed the tree. I mean, 
What did you? I, what, like, I, I saw the reaction. Squirrel stick on the side of yes, things. Yes, and then and then you even upside, upside down. For a moment yeah. there, you looked like the squirrel trying to get the, the bird feeder that's hanging from the stick, the string. Yeah, uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The roof thing. But what? Can I ask what right. it was in a reaction to? For it was a reaction to what I rolled. One because uh, it's the polar opposite of sans. <laughs> okay. Two, it's kind of an evil number. Oh no! What did you do? Three sixes. <laughs> for, for three troubles, uh, you don't. Uh, does each one of yours come with a trouble? I don't know. Okay. What were, I, your, what I, were your backgrounds? My back. Uh, my your, backgrounds. Sorry, your careers. Sorry. My my careers were two in free labor and one in hermit. Okay. I don't think any. None of those automatically. None come of those for automatically so, come. So you were having okay. a nice normal life. You didn't have any troubles. And then one day, one thing happened. So this works. You rolled three sixes, but there, it doesn't matter which one we take because they're all a six. Uh, so if you wanted to go with that roll, you would be wanted as well and get the same benefits and whatnot that Karas did. Or now that uh, we've decided you didn't have to roll three days, you can roll again. Or mm -hmm. roll again with one die and pick either that one or the six or just pick one. There. There's your options. Now I'm stuck. Uh oh. Okay, I'll cut back to you. Uh, well, okay. I, I gave Hellhounds too many options, so now I'll come back to you. Yes. <laughs> um. So the two that I'm stuck between, it's kind of the same side of the story, yeah. based upon who's looking at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, protecting someone and an unfortunate death. Yep. Well, so which set of skills do you want? If you can tell the tale either way. Silver tongue and thievery or forest and Because I already have, I have thievery and silver tongue already. So they would both Wait, go It would either one. be an extra. So you get even better at both of those. Or you can pick up forestry and melee the unfortunate death. What is forestry? I'm trying to think if it works for the character. Uh, most of that's going to be hiding. To the survival thing. Yeah. In D &D? Oh. Yeah, survival, okay, then... stealth. How to how to exist in a forest. Okay. Yeah, then not that's... how to cut down trees and turn them into logs. Okay. Yeah, that's probably close. You know what mushrooms to not eat at the Yes, time. exactly. Yeah, survival. Unless... I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, nice. that works you know better. What... Go on a trip. Yeah. You know what plants create a certain odor that that uh, hunting dogs will not be able to follow you through. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So the person who died and the person who swore vengeance against you, and take those two skills. Cool. Deku, how are we doing? Unfortunately, I am also an unfortunate death. Oh, okay. And I have, um, I I figure my boy is a strapping young lad. He's a rather good looking out in the field, and maybe the lady took a shine to me. Oh, dear. Against my will, because I'm gay as springtime. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. as oh, I was no. reluctantly visiting her chambers one night, oh yes, she was no longer amongst the living. Oh, dear. And now oh. my... Ooh. She died. My, oh. my boy is accused of yep. the crime by her lord husband. Oh, oh. Oh, that's that's terrible. That's a because, good story. Oh, that's a beautiful story because it's so horrible. I love it. So, yes. So there's the person who died and the person who swore vengeance. And you get to be even better in the forest and even better at melee. Um, I changed the forestry to endurance. So I only yeah. have one forestry. But Oh, I yes, see. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yep. My, what is it? My melee got better. Yes. I'm at two melee now. Exceptional thumpage. Uh, so... Perfect. Uh, who were we missing? Hellhounds, you got yours? Yes. No, I no, haven't not, got mine yet. No, okay. I can't decide. Okay. You could just roll if you can't decide. How about this? Roll and see what you like. See what you think of the roll. If you go, oh, good, that's what I was hoping for. Yep. You got it. If you say, oh, darn, I was actually hoping for that. Yep. Got a one. A one. So Are you... protecting someone. Hmm. And if you don't like that, roll again. I think it's like, I like, I like unfortunate death, but yeah. I also like wanted, because in my mind, my character is really good with a bow. Yeah. Somebody got murdered in the village, and they died by a bow. Yep. 
Who else has We're a bow? It's the squirrel. <laughs> so they well, did it. I'm the scapegoat. The mechanically, if this if this helps at all, mm -hmm. the only difference between those two is if you take an unfortunate death, you get melee for free because of the mm -hmm. skills. Other than that, the requirement is the same. You both the person who accused you and the one who sentenced you, and one is forestry and melee, and the other one's just forestry. So. I'll go with unfortunate death as well. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, take the free one. It also works. It's not like you pad and stats or min maxing, right? It works with the story. So. Hold on, Bison's telling you to take forced marriage. Why? <laughs> no, that's. I think that's what he rolled. He's creating a character along no, with. No, he's te no, he's in my chat telling me to take forced marriage. Oh, he's yes, over here. He is. He's over here screaming uh, forced marriage as well. Yep. Uh, who did what with the candlestick? I uh, no, wrong game. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Cursed by a witch. Cursed by a witch. Uh, what era are you playing in? Um, oh, better. <laughs> this is, I had set this um, uh, in, in a fictional time, roughly associated with the Crusades and towards the end of the quote unquote Dark Ages, which weren't dark. It was just post Roman and almost everything was made out of wood and it all rotted and the paper rotted and not a lot of people could write. So there's not much what history from then. But it's not like they didn't do stuff. A uh, little bit after Life of Brian, uh, but close, yeah. Deku, sorry? I don't know when that is. Uh, what century, roughly? Uh, are I was trying to avoid that, but uh, somewhere between 8th and 13th is what I think we're going to go with. Okay. We kind of cover that. Uh, the, well, it's not really going to be in the game other than the Crusade. <laughs> so I guess it's got to be, technically, if we want to follow that, it's got to be post the Christianization of Britain. I'm reading the book right now. So around, depending which part of Britain, between six and 700 AD, it has to be after that. Whew. I'm just trying to think tech-wise what's yep. available. Yep. Um, Julian of Norwich was in the mid to late 14th century. Yeah. Ooh, I could be her inspiration. So um, as far as um, timing, if you're looking for gear, uh, we'll get to this uh, shortly here. But uh, chainmail is sort of the, the max that this game goes to, uh, armor-wise. But we'll get to that. So everybody's got a trouble pick now, right? At least one. Yeah, my character Perfect, yeah. is young enough that he only gets the one. Only gets the one, yeah. Same. So now, this one's quick. Connections. Uh, not including all the people that you just wrote in for all the different things that you're doing. I know, Karis, you're going to be there till like, Wednesday finishing yours. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take it as red for now. Um, uh, but now, on top of all of those people, I need two people that you are close to. People that you could, even though you're an outlaw, you could, tr they could, you could trust them to go to them and have them not turn you in. I want Bison's character. That works because that's going to be one of the NPCs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> As one of my one of my contacts who won't turn me in. Yep. So friend, colleague, mentor, paramour, dependent, sibling, colleague, or other. Two of them, please. Anybody needs any help brainstorming, let me know. Other than that, let me know when you're done. I'm gonna start Byron, this time Hellhound. What's your character's name? Byron? That's a that's a poem. Bison. Sorry, yeah. Bison, Bison, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was this is why I get my brain skips when I'm multitasking too hard. Byron underscore poet. That's where I went. Uh, Bob. Bob. The, uh, I have uh, to have a Bob as my other contact. Scott, are you actually rolling up? Um, are you rolling up a character in this? Peter the Woodward. Okay. Peter the Woodward. The Woodward? Woodward. That's what that would be, uh, just weird things with wood. Ooh. Uh, anyway, so two connections. Mm. Uh, sorry, Sarah, I, I saw you. Yeah. No, uh, I'm, I'm not just sorry. To I'm just think. just polite. Uh, <laughs> Hellhounds, how are you doing with your connections? I'll start with you this time. I'm thinking. Uh, a blacksmith. Yep. I haven't thought of a name. Okay. And oh god, what is it? What is it? Uh 
and a farmer. Okay. For ease and uh, and continuance of story, we're using Sherwood Forest and Nottingham. So the town okay. will be Nottingham. So mm -hmm. your farmer would be outside of that. Your other connection would be inside. Mm -hmm. uh, staring blankly at screen, Sarah. Two connections? Mm -hmm. Brainstorming is available. Yeah, I'm trying to think for this character. I have oh, mine. Yeah, Deku, sure. Let's let's Sarah, get Sarah. Go ahead. Head. Yeah, okay. Who are yours? Um, I figure my connections would be my old boss from my field working days. Yep. Because he would have known me from when I was a boy. Yep. So he would know that I didn't do it. They absolutely know you didn't and do it. Yep. Then there was probably a tavern in the town. Yep. So maybe there was a, a waiter there that I was sweet on. Absolutely. Before. Oh, flashbacks everything. to my days in Banff. Oh, that was a long time ago. Uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't I happen to be a stable hand for the local right? nunnery associated so with the local so monastery. I I'm sorry. Sorry, Deku. I for Scott's that. character. Yes. Because I'm kind of thinking that's probably who my second one is. Yeah. Another one of these people with and way Piotr, too much experience. Piotr and Magdalena both went in the same circles very clearly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Deku, I'm sorry, we cut you off again. What was uh, the last bit? I forget. Oh, sorry. Uh, so yes, but yeah, you had the uh, bar to, or the person that worked in the bar, and then uh, the the waiter that I'm sweet on. The waiter that you're sweet on, yes, and your old boss, yes, days. perfect, yes. So there's your two. I have yet to come up with names. That's all those good. Those were who I was thinking. Yep. You've got a week. Uh, and you need to know them. I don't because I'll bring them up. Uh, but um, you're going to have to tell me about them when I do. So you guys build the backstory for these people too. Uh, Sarah, how's it going? You're still looking at the same spot on the screen. Yep. So let me ask you this uh. question. Who in your character's backstory isn't on that piece of paper yet. Um, basically his or their family. Yeah. So uh, and that's really it. it. Their yep. parents. Okay, so mom and dad. Uh, yep. so um, that's your two people. I uh, one sent for now. One sentence. What do they think of you? They know he's innocent. They both they, know they you're know innocent. They know they're innocent. Okay. okay. That's all we need. There you go. Mom and dad. That's great. For somebody that young, yes, that makes perfect sense. That is the only people you're going to know. Right? Can't yeah. trust your brother. He's a dick. He turned you in. Right? <laughs> if you got Probably. One. Yeah. And uh, I, I I dread almost asking, uh, Karis, uh, what? how many connections? I don't know how many you're going to end up with, but uh, two more that aren't actually on the list from all the ones that you got from all your careers? Margaret of Thurnbury? No, no, that's that's my original name before yes. my pre-religious oh, name. Oh, yes. There you go. Uh, yeah, I, because um, Peter would... Uh, we're trying to decide whether Peter would call me Magda or she would is. call me Maggie. And it would probably be indistinguishable. Maggie as because of my old name. Yes, Maggie or... or, uh, or uh, yeah, I miss, yeah, your sister Magdalene, I'm assuming. Yeah. Magdalena. Mag yeah. Magdalena, yeah. Perfect. All right. So that's, yep. So, that's, but so I've got Peter, the the Woodward, yep. the the hermit. Yep. And I've got Bob, who until Scott tells me otherwise, oh Bob McBob. Bob. I dropped that. <laughs> Bob McBob, the stable hand at the local at the nunnery. Yes. So that's where I know him. Actually, if he's a stable um, hand, he might not have a last name. So. Unless he tell, unless Scott tells me otherwise. Yep. And if Scott tells me otherwise, I will have a third contact who's the stable hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Perfect. <laughs> I will. I will have a few yeah. towns folks too, because, because you know, my the very first career was the 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 crafting and the herbalism and all, and it was doing that. I had several towns folk, and that's how I became to the notice of Baron yep. Mowbray, which Perfect. is how I came to the uh, you know. So yes. yeah, I I shall have a story. By, oh, I know. I have it's one no week doubt. For tonight. Yes, you got a week. <laughs> so I got um, a week. I shall have a story. Is everybody good with connections then? Uh, I can at least answer that the, I'm taking a bit of a risk personally here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 
blacksmith is my character's uh nephew okay yep um and the farmer is their childhood friend okay that makes perfect sense yeah yeah excellent so that's your two connections so mm -hmm. There's only one thing left, well, two things left to do. And they're both group things. You guys have to work as a group, and you're going to have to work without the person with the without the person who isn't here at the moment. I think they probably sent me a message, but I don't have enough screens to have that up. And if I put it up now, it might show up somewhere on, on the screen that I don't want it to. So, um, so the, five, uh, the four of you are going to get to make this choice. You have resources and legend as your two sort of group stats. Resources are exactly that. You spend resources, uh, again, this is on the sheet in Roll20. Let me scroll down here. Uh, we'll worry about encumbrance and load and weapons in a little bit. Uh, let's go right to the bottom. The very last scroll at the bottom is resources. You're going to decide how many you get. You guys, as a group, are going to roll 4d6. Great, there's four of you. You can each roll 1d6. We're going to and we're going to take those dice, but we're going to keep them as four individual rolls. And you get to take two dice and put them somewhere and two dice, uh, two dice in resources and two dice in uh, legend. So you don't get to break them. You don't get to break them up finer than that. But we're going to go over what they do first. If you put them in resources, you can spend one resource per person to make a very good disguise. Uh, you can spend uh one per person to find a high a safe hiding place uh in nottingham or wherever you happen to be you can use them to buy or rent equipment room and board that you don't already have so if you need something expensive you can use resources to do that and ammunition uh i'm not going to worry about this one because i don't want to keep track of ammunition so we're just going to ignore that as a resource <laughs> Legend, on the other hand, is real simple. That's why it's not on the on the board. Uh, you burn one legend to get a favor from somebody. Uh, you can't ask for outrageous favors, and you can't ask for them from, like, the sheriff or the priest, you know, the people that would automatically turn you in. But asking a favor here is asking somebody to put their butt on the line for you, so it's a big deal. So that's what you use legend for. So, do you want to roll 1d6 each? Sure. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't be sorry. Tell us what you rolled. Four. A four? I haven't done it okay. yet. I just know it. Just as you, as you roll them, just yell them out. Three. Four and a three. Okay. Six. A six. Woohoo! And a woohoo. I'm not sure how to write that down. Is that like a, yeah. No, I was responding to our six. I know. But I'm waiting for a fourth roll. Uh, I got four. A four. Okay. So you have a six, two fours, and a three. Gives you amazing options. Uh, mm -hmm. Unlimited ammo. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Uh, <laughs> I just I uh, couldn't be, yeah, I couldn't be bothered. Anything. Even as simple as it is in this game, I still couldn't be bothered. 17 resources? 17. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, and, and no. Um, and no legend? We're supposed to. So okay. Oh, I so see. Each of us oh, a rolling in the diff in the distance. So yeah. Oh, I, I, he's trying to split them for you a nine and an eight. Yeah. So. I put. I mean, I could go with nine and eight with like nine in resources and eight in legend would be yeah. my suggestion. Agreed. Yeah. Well, what, okay. Because I was going to say the highest you guys can generate is a ten. Like ten seven is the widest split you can generate. Right, with those numbers, I like nine eight with a slight weighting towards resources. Okay, mm -hmm. agreed. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we have a consensus. Cool. De uh, Deku, we are agreed? going to be a great group. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's I, let's hear all sides here. Yes. Deku? Yes. So the group wants to go eight legend nine resources. Uh, depends. Give us a counter argument. We might like it better. No, I'm fine with the more or less even split. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is a I'm just wondering which side gets more than the other. 
Oh, you think Legends should get more? No. I like oh. resources. Okay. Yeah. The thing with resources is you're going to use them in bunches, right? Like if three of you need to be disguised, that's three resource points. A Legend is one point per favor. Yeah, so we'll, we would definitely need our nine and resources at that point. So there's going to be do, five of or, you in this group. Or do we want to go, or do we want to do the ten seven then? I'm just thinking, because mm. yeah, there's five of you in this group. If you all needed disguises and all needed a hiding place because something went wrong, that's ten. Right? Whereas, like I said, legend is one per favor. Your yeah, choice. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying yeah, to. I don't. I'm just doing I don't my do brain disguises math, for so. myself because it's kind of like Friar Tuck. Can you imagine yeah. Friar Tuck in a disguise? <laughs> He's done it before. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, okay, yeah. so maybe. I'm, so yeah, what are your thoughts? I'm kind of leaning towards the ten, and you said seven for the other one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because you'd use and a so six and a seven, four and a four and a three. Yeah. Yeah. So seven legend and ten resources. Yeah. Hellhounds. Yay, I'm, I'm for that as well. Okay. Like now that now that we know that um, resources costs more than just one. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, if you only want to send one person in, this is how you save resources: is we don't all go, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Deku, how about you? I'm good with a ten-seven. Excellent. Split. Okay. Split. Weighted towards resources. Yeah. Okay, so okay. all of we, you can put that on your sheet. We are going to be a great group. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's a space <laughs> We're going to have your... groupthink all of the time, and Kevin is going to exploit it mercilessly. I love this. this it's going to be great. So, yeah, uh, everybody put that on your sheet, and you can all keep track of it that way. Uh, at some point, there'll be differences, but the majority will rule. So if four of you say you've got this many of money, you says you got something else, we'll just go with the majority. So. I have an excuse. I'm new to this. That's okay. We're all new to this. None of us yeah. have ever played this game before, including me, and I'm running it. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. So there is only one thing left, and it's not in the book for character creation. We still got to go over mechanics a little bit. We're going to do that. It's not, it's really, really quick. But one more thing, because you have been together for a little while at least. You're not just sort of run into the forest with each other. You are a group. And what a group needs, we're going to test your group think right here, is a <laughs> name. Oh boy. I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. And I know that the, the one player who isn't here, we can't answer. Yeah. Mm. What are the genders of our characters? Do we have a mix or do we happen to... All be heavily weighted one or the other because if we happen to be heavily weighted one or the other reflecting that in the name might be interesting okay yes yeah, scott i know you want to call us bob yes <laughs> so um bob yeah. names or, or scott names everything bob oh it makes it easy to remember uh well give him a bunch of name tags in minecraft and everything is everything named is bob. bob okay <laughs> So, um, if everyone is okay with this, uh, can we go around and get the uh, the pronouns for your characters? It's a good time to do it. Excellent. She, uh, her. Yeah, she, her. Okay. That's, I'm still having to use you. Okay. Uh, Sarah? All. Characters is all. Okay. And uh, Hellhounds? She, her. She, her. Okay. And uh, Deku? I think we said he, he right? him, but yeah. he's gay, if that matters. It, it it doesn't, but uh, uh, you know, that's entirely well, up to you guys. Okay. Oh, I, I see what you mean, like name wise. That. I got you. Yeah. Um, okay, so there you go. And we don't know what the other one. Um, historic. Right. If I had to guess historically, yeah, the squirrels up the side of the wall again. Uh, looking at me around. I the, think it's wonderful up the side of the, the side of behind from behind a tree. Just, uh, the yep. person who is not here often, I, I haven't played with them a huge amount, but often is an, uh, if, oh, I don't want to, all is typically the one that I see. So, ah, inverted. Oh, they're doing curls. Like, <laughs> ah, yeah, mm, abs of squirrely steel. <laughs> okay. So probably not, probably so not. Everybody. all question mark for our other player. So those are the pronouns. Uh, you guys go. This is a perfect. I need a coffee. I'll be right back. And you. Or and, the nibbles. This, the, 
<laughs> we'll we'll brainstorm while you're away. The nibbles. They, oh, be they, right back. <laughs> one... Well, if you were to ask Sister Magdalena, she would immediately declare, we are the blessed bunch. <laughs> you are not required to use that name. <laughs> mm. I'm thinking we have a lot of unfortunate death troubles. So if we're all banding together to help each other out, what will we make of that? Kale back on. Um, I'm going to try to do this character's voice for the first time. I haven't played with it yet. I'm warning everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we could be the fortunate few. Unfortunate souls. Or Ooh. unfortunate souls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like Just that. Full so sad. So true. <laughs> oh, God. I still got PTSD. I love but... it. I love so... it. Deku, uh, speak up. We can overtalk like you pretty easily. Oh, you I like unfortunate, unfortunate souls? souls. Um, I really but can't. We are the uh, unfortunate souls. Nice. I, I I like it with the poor. We're the poor unfortunate souls. Poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, we're, if we all want, yeah. <clears throat> I love it. Oh, I adore <laughs> Ursula. <laughs> I utterly adore. She's one of my favorite Disney villains. So, Little Mermaid is my dad's absolute favorite movie. So, every year when I was little, on Father's Day, I would watch it with him. I have PTSD of that movie. Just, what do you want to watch for Father's Day? Little Mermaid. I can't uh, stand the movie some... except for Ursula's scenes. And I adore Ursula's scenes. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, like, where where is all of our characters from? Each of us. We didn't actually go through that. We, uh, You guys decided it right at the start of character development, but we never actually said That's the one thing we didn't say out loud. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from Thornbury, which is two towns over from um, uh, da, 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 da. Nottingham. Nottingham. Thank you. <laughs> which, in this time and place, two towns over, that's probably a two-day journey. That's kind of towns That's, sort of developed yeah. at that range for obvious reasons uh so yeah having said that two town two days travel is a long distance in this time and place for most people most villagers would never leave their hometown yeah because at the time well, I, in, at the time the uk was a big place it really was when you can only go 10 miles a day with you and your cart it's it's a big place I, you know, I had to get way away from the Mowbray estate. Yes. So, um, did we end up with a name? Oh, yes. Oh, you didn't oh, have yeah. your headphones I, I, on? I, I, just, I just got back. So, what are, we, what are we called? We're the poor, unfortunate souls. The poor, unfortunate souls. And I'm going to have a Disney backdrop in Zoom, no doubt. Oh, yes. I love it. Okay. I'm already oh, a wait. Disney squirrel. Oh, oh, oh wait. Oh, oh we, wait. That means we can't, we, we, unfortunately, that means we can't use your acronym. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, no. no. Oh. Run away. Oh. Puss is here. <laughs> <laughs> can't use that so you've now well, forced so me to well, use the whole drop, thing so we can drop the poor and we'll stick with unfortunate souls it's us us we need your help that doesn't help that, that, that makes it more confusing <laughs> the poor us the poor us oh i like that poor us. It's poor us oh that works there you go you can keep the whole name but you're called poor us there we some go. people now it's a know. nurgle game oh no Oh no, if we do poor little unfortunate souls, we're plus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've eaten a fair amount, so, you know, I can, I can fit into that. <sighs> so, uh, poor unfortunate souls, poor us for short. We're going to yeah. minus your purses to plus ours. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to go that far, we can be poor our us. Yeah, poor art, I'll <laughs> say. Yeah. Anyway. Yep, absolutely. I love it. Perfect. So there's lots of names for your organization, all of them based roughly on poor, unfortunate souls. 
Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, maybe only you know that it's actually poor, unfortunate souls. Everybody else has got all these other ideas of what it stands for. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Anyway, so you've got the name. That's it. So that's the characters. The, the characters are now done. So... Nobody gets the name right. Yeah. No, yeah. Exactly. They just can't get my nose right. So now that you, <laughs> so now that you've got those, uh, your character sheets done, you have a look at sort of how many skills you've got, what you're going to be good at, all that stuff that you kind of do at the end and go, oh, look what we built. Uh, but then scan right back to the top to those attributes because this is where it becomes important that they're a resource. You need eight pluses to succeed, and you're getting, you know, plus one, plus two, maybe plus three on some of these rolls. If you really need to guarantee successes, you're going to have to use your stats as resources to add those threes to various rolls. So I was going to call your attention back to that quickly as the first part of the mechanics that you're going to have to do. So does everybody understand how a roll would work then? No. Okay, so let's do that. <laughs> Everything's a skill check. 2d6 plus the relevant, well, not everything. There's saves as well, but every, up uh, for, for now, everything is a skill check. You roll 2d6 plus the relevant skill, whatever level you are in that skill. So if you have and you're level, trying to get under things? No, you're trying to get over eight. Oh, okay. For skill checks. Always over. Oh, skill over checks. eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. eight is your success number. Yeah. So 2d6 plus your skill level, anything equal to or over, pardon me, equal to or over eight and up is a success. If you have no relevant and... skill, you roll with disadvantage. So you roll three dice, and I pick the lower two or whichever two I think. So somebody M'd? Yeah, uh, I believe a critical success is 12. Yep. And a critical fail is four. Uh, two. Unless I'm wrong. Critical yeah. fail is two, yeah. So yeah, snake eyes and double sixes. Uh, mins and maxes are crits. I think... I might be wrong, but that's how I'd read it. If, if it is four and less, then uh, I'll soften that because I don't like crit fails. Uh, so, yeah. Either way, it'll be something along those lines. Um, but, yeah, 2d6 plus a relevant, uh, the relevant skill. Anything eight and up is a success. Uh, thank you. If I if I was incorrect, thank you for correcting me. Actually, I can look. Let me look. Let's look. Uh, whoosh. Encumbrance and load. Uh, we're going to get to that in a second. Critical effects. Yeah, if the result of the skill check is two or less, it's a critical fail. So uh, thank you for making me check because it is not a natural two if the result is two or less. So if you have plus, if you have a skill in anything, you cannot critical fail because you can't roll a two because you add your skill level. But how do you get less than a two? Um, negative modifiers. Six. Negative modifiers, maybe. Where do we get negative modifiers? From? I don't think there are any. That's what um, I was there thinking. were a couple of um, career or trouble. Oh, yes. Oh, right. okay. Yes, yes, okay. that is correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. At least one of us read the rule book. It's not the person that's running it, but at least one of us did. <laughs> so that's good. Thank you. I didn't even read the whole thing. I know. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I'm I a storyteller. The, important the rules, rules are fun, but I'm a storyteller. Uh, so, yes, anything 12 or better is a critical success. Wonderful things happen. Anything uh, two or less is a critical fail, and terrible things happen. Advantage, we went over twos and threes, uh, rolling three dice and picking two of them. Uh, let's go back a bit here because I skipped a big chunk. You guys aren't done. I forgot all about this. You did your resources and your legend. You did your name. Now we need okay. your mission and your code. What your band stands for. Your mission is one or two goals or ambitions that you want to accomplish. Examples, provide money to the poor, protect locals from the sheriff's bailiffs, protect the woods, get revenge for a crime. But this is a group mission, one or two of them. I'm sorry, I thought we were done. I forgot this. Hmm. The traditional Robin Hood would have been steal from I just want to keep y'all patched together. I think since we're mostly associated with unfortunate deaths and probably innocent of crime, 
we would want to help out other people that are being wrongly accused of crimes they didn't commit. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. Perfect. Uh, so, pre can we, sh can I rephrase that as uh, yeah. preventing the abuse of power? Yes. Okay. Oh, I like preventing like the use of p abuse of power because um, my character is already very much against unnecessarily annoying rules. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like there's no reason why you should have to make that a law or a rule. So, mm -hmm. th this is how I got kicked out of this. Yeah. Bison, to be the oh. face of justice for those who have been denied it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. That that's two to me, because uh, to me those are two different things. Because being the face of justice means you have to be out there. You have to let people know you did this, right? When you do things, you have to leave calling cards. You have to let people see you do it, right? It's not just, you know, benefiting the those that can't be, you know, that can't help themselves. It's also being seen to do it. So that's your two mission. Perfect. Your mission. Remember, now, folks, we are not the wet bandits. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. We we did break it up, Scott. Um, they're they're called poor us. That way, they're not. Yeah, they're not pus. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're going with that, whether it makes sense or not. Uh, and <laughs> your code. This is the things you will not do. Doctor Who, no violence. Right. What are the things you will not do in the as, as much as you will do to gain your goals? What won't you do as a group? Yeah, like with Robin Hood, he never stole from uh, villagers. He only ever stole from law enforcement or the king slash prince himself. And in some stories, he never killed anybody. Because mm -hmm. that's uh, not the message. Uh, well, I mean, I will not you can kill a chicken do as what long I as think it's not is a wrong. Character, but... Yeah, I will not do what I think is wrong. I don't care what laws there are. I won't yeah. do what I think is wrong. But that's me personal. That's my personal code. So, what was the other half of the mission statement? I'm sorry, I missed oh. it. Being the face of justice oh. for those who have been denied it, and actually, that was proposed by Bison, so we get to actually decide if that's what. We yeah, want. that was just <laughs> something that came up. So, what was the uh, one before that, uh, Deku's? Uh, pr well, it's pr we we. Kevin rephrased and, it into prevent abuse of power. Do you like the rephrasing, Deku? Yes. Okay, so that's the that's the proposal. Yeah. Well, and and thank you and thank you for confirming that, uh, Karis. Uh, Deku, you're new to us. If stand up to me, I am the most flexible human being you've ever gamed with. So if uh, if I say is this okay and you don't think it is, say no. I won't get upset. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Just we, so you know. Lucky for you, I've liked uh, what you said so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm winning. We are twenty our dirty twenty gaming. So Hashtag Oh not don't, don't don't do that. Not you, a cult, be, yes. you do you do not want to be dry during this part of history, you know. Can't drink most of the water sources because it's full of cow poop and, like and deer poop and yeah, toxins. So Morning deer, morning Blank. deer, morning deer. Yeah, and uh, anyway. they had Table beer, uh, which was cold. twelve to ten percent. They had, uh, oh no, there was strong beer, which was twelve to ten. Table beer, which was eight to ten, and uh, they called it um, uh, small beer, not because it was smaller, but because it was only about six percent, and that's what they fed to the kids. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Better than getting dysentery. Oh, yeah. You head. cannot. Yeah. They, and, of course, they didn't know that it was boiling the water that made it safe. They just knew if you drank beer, you didn't. Your guts didn't blow out. So, yeah. So, I think you could chew it. Yeah. So. I know um, I know that my character's personal code is that they would never hurt a, a person. Okay. Like They do not do violence against a person. Okay. No harming the innocent. Oh, that's that's an excellent one. Yeah, that's a, I that, like that. I like that one as a yeah. group goal. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, my character too would also not hurt innocence. It's perfect. So that's now now like, yeah. now we have a we have a slight problem. You can define innocent on the Who's fly. Yeah. What about that poor innocent fish that I want to have for lunch? That's an animal, and also that's an animal. <laughs> they were very hey, clear. Hey, fish are people too. Fish are friends, not food. 
That depends. I mean, yeah, we are having like <laughs> Disney characters run around, but even in I mean, Disney, we have a, even... one of us is a squirrel, so it's kind of like you know, I am a squirrel that is happily eating a chicken. This is sentience. Okay. This is levels of sentience. Yeah. If if you okay. if you're self aware, you can eat things that aren't self aware, or that have so limited have self aware, limited self awareness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say limited because I think a lot more things are self aware than we give them credit for, but yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'm not going to go with the if you can, you can. Uh, I don't like that theory. But <laughs> why did you eat that? Because I can. <laughs> okay. So, so no harming the innocent. I like that. Mm -hmm. And we don't like others harming the innocent, too. We will come and stand up to them. If yep. they so this all ties together. Yep. Because so, that yeah. ties with the preventing the abuse of power mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah. No, there's no reason why you can't just have that. It doesn't have to be anything else. And I think that's a pretty big one, that's so I don't think we need one. to that's look any further. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so there's that. Put that on your sheets. Because you will get uh, legend uh, paid out to you based on how close to that you play. So you will get more, uh, sorry, not legend. You get points that you can spread between resources and legend. Oh, you realize that means I have to violate it at some point during this campaign. Yes, absolutely. Of course, it's part of the fun. Because I'm a Karis and we yes, do that. Yes, of course you do. Yes. So, okay. yes. Because we make things dark and complicated and twisted. Understood. So, mm. next, I, I, we oh, got to get moving here. It's yeah. already 8 o'clock. We should I be done by like now. I just look like a so. sweet little old granny. <laughs> but it's already 8 o'clock. We should be done by now. But there's really not much left. So, uh, everybody good with where we are so far? Quick check. Yep. 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 Yes. 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 Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Moving forward. Um, saving throws. I don't roll in this game. So in a melee combat, whether it's fisticuffs or, or knives or swords, uh, if you fail, you take damage. If you succeed, they take damage. You may want to scroll back to the top again and look about how to increase your rolls because all of a sudden, when you when you miss, you don't just miss. You, you take damage. Um, range is a little bit different because range, uh, I say they attack you and you make a saving throw just like any other saving throw effect. Saving throw is 2d6. You need to roll less than or equal to your current appropriate ability score. So as you burn off that resource, you become less and less able to make saving throws in that category. Does that make sense? So so the ability to use the ability you, you want to roll above. To save, you want to roll below. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Except for luck, because that saving throw, you can choose to use luck instead of whatever saving throw you were supposed to make. So if you do have a stat getting low and you still got lots of luck, you can use that instead. Sir, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so success on a saving throw, just like another game, avoids or mitigates the danger. It's kind of up to me whether you take damage or no, take reduced damage or take none. You can save with luck, as we talked about. Initiative in this game is purely narrative. Uh, if you start the fight, you guys are going to get to go first, especially if it's an ambush. Uh, if it's a mutual thing, we'll alternate. I'll do one, you do one, I do one. You know, Because if it's melee, it doesn't matter. It's only ranged weapons where initiative matters because melee, you roll and the real result happens. Uh, yeah, I mean, because yeah. melee, you crash together. Exactly, and then it's just... It kind of all happens result, at result. once. <laughs> so it's quick. It's all done on one roll, right? In this game, it's all one roll. If you attack... Uh, if you're in melee, you roll one and you either take damage or give damage. There's no neutrals. Uh, and if, you, uh, if you're in range or if you're being attacked from range, you roll a saving throw and it's that easy. So let's get to uh, some other easy things. Encumbrance in this game. Oh, I love this. Uh, there are three levels of encumbrance. Uh, the adventure is made up of a bunch of missions. Each mission before you go, you decide are you going in with a light load, a medium load, or a heavy load? And you don't have to tell me what's in that load. So during the adventure, you get to say, this is what I got. Uh, so let's go over them. A light load is no armor, a dagger, and one other weapon, and three pieces of equipment. And that's it. Uh, uh, it says advantage on stealth checks related to speed or stealth. Also, if you need to walk through downtown somewhere, this is probably the way to go because you're not going to attract attention, right? Everybody's got a dagger and a weapon or two. Medium load. You're wearing either leathers or a gambeson, so you are now saying, I'm ready to fight. You might not be saying, I'm going to fight, but you're saying, I'm ready to fight, because you're dressed for it. Um, and you're carrying a dagger and one other weapon, 
or has a dagger and two other weapons, but no armor. So either way, you are you're you're dressed to go to a fight, and in that uh, you can carry three items. If you've got your pack, you can carry seven. Everybody starts with a pack. Heavy load is uh, it's go time. This you are not hiding anything from anybody. This is full war mode. Uh, you're wearing either chainmail or leathers. You've got a dagger and two other weapons. You've got uh, three other items, seven with your pack. You're not sneaking anywhere with this loadout. But that's all you have to decide. Uh, you say it's three items. So during the thing, you need rope, you got rope. You need uh, pitons, you got pitons. It doesn't matter. As long as they're not outrageously more resource demanding. If they are, you can pay on the fly and still have them. The bag of narrative necessity goes as deep as you've got resources to make it go. So <laughs> I think we can tell the story, right? Exactly, yes. Uh, tights, no tights, tights, no tights. Well, we're not going to play no tights. They'll they'll throw us off of uh, Twitch if we play no tights. Uh, no, but that's the light load. Tights uh, is the medium uh, load. Not tights is the heavy load. <laughs> you got to parse these things out, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, just don't imagine it. Just don't imagine not <laughs> tights being the heavy load. Uh, all right. So, weapons. No, no, no. Not tights because you're wearing metal and stuff. <laughs> you, you see it your way. Uh, I'll see it mine. Uh, let's keep going. We're almost done. Weapons. There's only uh, The only thing difference with weapons is how much damage they do. So, little ones, daggers, knives, clubs, 2d6 damage. And now again, uh, now that you know that the little ones do 2d6, the big ones do 4d6, you may want to have a look at your um, endurance again and see how fragile you really are. You can reduce that with, you know, all kinds of ways. But yeah, 4d6 from a longbow. Uh, so 2d6, 3d6, and 4d6. Ranges, they're there, but I mean, we're going to narrative the hell out of this. There's no map, so you're not going to be able to tell whether you're 20, 50, or 100 feet away. You're in range if you need to be, if it makes sense. Armor uh, is super simple. If you're wearing a gambeson or leathers, reduce every damage that you take by two. If you're wearing chainmail, reduce all the damage that you take by four each time you take it. Shields are a little weird. Um, if you guys want, if anybody wants to use one, um, you can use it as a weapon and do damage, but they get a save even if you hit. If you don't use it as a weapon, they the next person that attacks you gets disadvantage on their attack. That's how shields work. So they're slightly complicated. Taking damage, we already talked about. It's almost always endurance, unless it's sort of psychic damage, and then we'll put it somewhere else. Or uh, uh, willpower. Or it's willpower damage, willpower. exactly. That's the other one, yeah. So you can reduce uh, statistic or attributes to zero, but never pass them, just like another game. Uh, when your endurance is down to zero, you're not necessarily done. If your endurance is zero and you take another injury, you're done. Well, you're out of action. You're not dead. You're out of action. Also, if your endurance is at zero and any other attribute is at zero, you're also out of action. So if you're a caster and you've burned all your willpower and all of your endurance, you go to sleep. Bet down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So catching your breath, where you can see how close we are here because uh, we don't have to do arcane talents because nobody took them. So I'm not going to put any well, on the other actually, side. Actually, you skipped oh, you something. Did. What did I say? Equipment and supplies. I have a question. It yes. says, like, standard adventuring gear costs five. Costs five what? Resources. As long as your resources are oh, above five. right, 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 yeah. right. So this is how you get stuff, right? When This is how this also works for things that you're carrying. Because uh, anything that fits on that list, you can have because your resources are above five right now. If your resources were reduced to, say, four, because you spent them for something, and you went into town and you needed some adventure gear that cost five, you would have to pay one resource you'd get it but now your resources are only three right <laughs> tights of twitch necessity uh but yeah so does that make sense yes 99 times out of 100 not, you're gonna have i'm not what you need. sure but but we'll see how it plays out in action yeah uh it, the the short version is if you need it you've got it unless it's really rare in which case you're gonna have to pay resources on the yeah. fly but you can always have a the way that this game works, you were, the game is never going to come to a roaring stop because somebody forgot to bring a lantern. Right? You have lanterns. You have rope. I am far you too practical. Stuff. We have uh, what we, we need. We, we. Okay, we'll, put, we'll change that to we. But yes, so that's the, the loadouts and the, uh, yeah, the gear. So yes, short answer is if you need it, you got it. Uh, and if you don't, I do. So. Yes, 
you know. Well, and each of you, like, even if you're light loader, you've got three items. So as you need them, you define them. Once you've defined three items that you're carrying during that adventure, then you're stuck with those three items. Right. You personally, until everybody's at slots the end, are filled or up. At the end. end of the adventure or until we get back to base. Until you get back to base and recharge, precisely. Yep. Speaking okay. of back to base and recharging, let's do catch your breath. Once per <gasps> section, a uh, session. So once every two hour session, you're going to be able to, uh, it's essentially RP a scene, either to each other, to an NPC in the game, or if they're not around, you could do the soliloquy. Right. And talk to me uh, about your character. You do that and sort of put us in their headspace. You will get, you get to roll 2d6 and divide the points as you like between any attributes other than luck. If you want more than that, you can choose to roll the third die and you get those back too. But if you roll a four or more, you get those back, but a trouble from your past shows up in your very near future. So you could technically recover as many as 3d6. Also, once per session, if you can figure out how to do it, and yes, you can use that. I don't know if any of you took it. The uh, I, do, I got a friend. Well, actually, it's an ability any of you can use. I got a buddy or the I know somebody. That I one? know a guy. Yeah, I know a guy. The, once during your session, when you confront one of your troubles or try to help out one of your connections. So if you can bring any of those people into the scene uh, that needs that needs help, you gain the benefits of catching your breath without needing to actually take the break. So it's kind of like an inst a recharge inspiration. So you can do that two or three dice there as well. Uh, you cannot use this to recharge anything above their actual starting values. So if your max is 10, you can't go to 12. Did anybody take arcane talents? Anybody takes? Oh, yes, we have a sorcerer, right? Yes. So you have cantrips and you have powers. Uh, I don't know if you scanned to this part of the book about what those are. A little bit. Okay. The short answer is cantrips cost you one willpower to cast and require no test. They always work. Uh, your spells require some. It's different on the spell. It tells you there how many willpower it costs to cast it. Yeah. And they also usually require a willpower test or, or, or a skill test. Uh, yeah, a skill check based on your sorcery skill. So the thing is, your sorcery skill doesn't go down, right? You can burn willpower and you don't lose your ability to cast because that's based on your skill not on your attribute. Okay. Yeah. So you can have one willpower left and still cast mad things as long as you can only have that one willpower. And then you can scan over and start burning your uh, endurance points too if you need to, if it gets really bad. I love that idea of just like, feeding off of your own body to cast those spells if, if they're that if you're that desperate. So You can cast a lot of stuff in this game. So uh, And you pick necromancy, so that's going to be really interesting. But yep. that's it. That's all the arcane. Everything is a skill check or a save in this game. So you just do skill checks based on your sorcery level. Resources. Yeah, and what you can burn them on. We did that already. So that is, that's it. Uh, so one thing. What did I miss slash what questions do you have is the next bit. What doesn't make sense? How do I pick a pocket? Uh, you skill check for um, what 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 appropriate skill? Thievery. Thievery would be the ultimate one, but you could also you could maybe talk me into. Oh, I else. see. Yeah. This is how we use the skills. Oh, yes, okay. yeah, exactly. So if you have a skill at level one, you roll two d six and add one. If you have a skill, you roll two d six and add one. If you have that skill at level two, if you put two points into it, two d six plus two. However, if you do not have that skill, you roll with disadvantage. Yeah. So three dice, Unless and I pick which two. Three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah jack of all trades is super useful jack of all trades and that other one that we were looking at earlier together yeah there's lots of ways to to build really um synergist characters as we saw like uh one of the ways is how Karis has done it you're 40 you've done everything all the things you have all the experience uh so and and that's perfect uh, there this game is swashbuckling swinging from the trees because there's ropes even though it's a forest in britain there's apparently vines everywhere ropes whatever you want to call them mm -hmm. you're swinging from the trees you're hiding behind stuff you're acting heroic a lot of time spent standing with hands on hips with your teeth glinting in the sun that's this game right there's not a lot of rolling around in the dirt you can have a big fight with somebody stand up and depressing you know the the the, the seam is still in your little uh 
crenellated shoulders of your tunic or the, the, the crease is still there. Yeah, James Bond levels of stuff, right? That's what we're looking for here. So having outrageous characters fight. that can do outrageous stuff is perfect. Um, for anybody that doesn't know particularly uh, Deku, I have a standing request to all of my players, and I mean it. Break the game. Come up with an idea that I have not thought of. Come up with a way around a devious plan that I have put together. I will not only laugh, I will say that is excellent, and I will throw out the three pages of notes that I made, and you will mm -hmm. succeed beyond your wildest dreams. I don't punish players for being creative. I do exactly the opposite. If you think of something I didn't think of, your character has thought of something the bad guy didn't think of, congratulations, big success. Yep. So that's what I want. So, um, and he does too. Oh, it's, it's every yeah. every time. There's a. Yeah, I haven't I've put it on it. the overlay yet, you've but, seen uh, it, but yeah, when you it. see in the overlay, you'll see the happy storyteller pop up uh, from time to time. That's what we do here. I know you know, but I had to tell you anyway because you're here. And yes, always split the party. There's somebody else who you always watches. Too. Yes, it's one of the, it's what we do here. So, I think uh, what I'm going to do is any questions anybody has beyond this because there's going to be them. We've got a week already. Always reward creativity. I love that. Yes. Arc the story. Always reward creativity. All about the fun. All about the joy. Um, okay, let's put this here too, because again, we do have a new player. Again, I know you know, but I'm, I'm going to tell you as a player rather than as a viewer, you've got plot armor in my games. It's that simple. I don't want your character to die. You were going to have to work real hard to kill a character in one of my games. Unless you come to me and say, I got a really cool idea for a heroic death, then we'll build an amazing scene and do it that. But play like you've got plot discard armor adventure because you do. Sorry? The scarred adventure cop cop. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just, yep. Do do the amazing. Be, be over the top. Be stunning. Uh, make me remember things. Uh, blow my mind. That's, uh, that's what we want. That's the fun. Shared joy is increased. Shared pain is decreased. I got that backwards, but that that the the, the sentiments are there. I just got the, the sentiments in the back order. Shared pain is lessened. Shared joy is increased. That's the the Spider Robinson quote that I love. Yes, be you. Always be you. Uh, with the only caveat to that, as long as you're not hurting people, that's the only caveat I put on that. But so. With that, we will start if everybody can be here, and even if you can't, because it's a forest and we can sneak people in and out as necessary. One week from tonight, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, we will start Sherwood, a new trope. Uh, and uh, we will see everybody then. So thank you. We went a little long tonight. So thank you very much to uh, Sarah. Uh, Karis, Deku, and Hellhounds, thank all four of you for coming out tonight. Uh, we don't often do these uh, sort of streamed ones, but I'm glad we did because it's uh, we got the characters built, so everybody's got a sort of an idea of who you're going to be. Uh, oh, and we have some key NPCs built. We have some key NPCs mm -hmm. built. Uh, those that it's going to be possible to do so, if you can make Hero Forge minis and send me the links, I will make character art out of them. I think we can do most of the animals that were chosen here, I think. Uh, we should be good. Uh, so, uh, with that... I might need help. I'm not very good with hero. It's all good. I think I still owe you a, 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 a monk, I think, too. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, if, do, we'll do both of those. Yeah. And if need be, I have no issue drawing your characters. Oh, thank you. That would be... Oh, for, really especially cute. for the folks that, yeah, if we can't find an appropriate model, that would be really cool. I love your yes. style. Let me know. Send me a reference. Have, yeah. I don't think Hero Forge has a lot of uh, choices regarding like bird folk. I think it's only like raven folk they got. They had an update yeah. where the, you can now play, you can now build a feral animal. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to go have a look. I, yeah, I love that. Every Tuesday, man. I mean, I'm we we do have a link. Anybody who is watching on Twitch, if you click down below, if you're gonna buy a Hero Forge mini, click on the link. I keep forgetting about this. It's not going to save you any money. They don't like me that much. Uh, but what it will do is send me a tiny commission. 
uh, any money that I do make off, I've made exactly zero so far. Uh, any money that will uh, that is made there will stay there, uh, and we're going. To, I will be using it to uh, make either uh, STLs, which I will print myself, or more likely um, using them if we can get it to a high enough number uh, to convince me to spend the rest of it and buy brass or the the brass minis of some of the classics. So with that. I think I did all these four thank yous. Thank you to our other player who I know is recovering from an exhausting holiday of wonderment and joy. So I, I wish them the best of snoozes and I'm betting I got messages from them after I got out because they were going to join, but I, I, I'm going to guess that they went, oh, I don't want to mess up the overlay. So they didn't come in. So anyway, we will figure it out. But thank you, Kevin. Oh, thank you very much. I, I love doing this. Uh, this is going to be a great group. I can already tell this energy is already there. So nice. tune in uh, most times, six nights a week, six nights a bloody week now. Uh, so all the way from Tuesday through till Sunday uh, and watch us play. This one's going in uh, into the Saturday nights or Friday night slot for the next little while. So with that, there's only one. Uh, oh, two thank yous left. Damn, I almost forgot yeah. to thank yous. Yeah. To the people in chat, particularly ones that typed a lot tonight. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Uh, oh, um. Sunday, two nights from now, almost forgot. Not streamed, but watch in the Discord. Join the Discord, because you can't get this unless you're in the Discord. Do the Discord. Bang, Discord, probably too late. I did it already. Oh, you already did it. There you go. I'm so slow that the gap was done, and I could actually do it again. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> that's how slow I am. Join the Discord. Just cruise down to the channel marked uh, Improv uh, Workshop. This Sunday, not streamed from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Pacific. So that's 7 till 8.30 uh, Eastern and midnight time. midnight to 1.30 a.m. <laughs> UK time. Yeah. Yes. We have some UK people yes, that do. are crazy I know we enough do. to be up this late. And we're going to do uh, some improv games that I uh, learned years ago that uh, I think are really going to help people, not just game in general, but very specifically this came up in the Baron Munchausen game. Uh, and uh, the complete and utter self-confidence that comes from... I'm trying not to look at this, the jackalope that's coming together over there. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yes, join us there. Get involved in that. If you've ever thought that a little bit of self-confidence can go a long way, you're right. And I have found no better way in my entire life to build self-confidence self than to do improv. So... We still have a thank you. We still have one more thank you to all the wonderful people on YouTube that tune into the future, in the future to watch this. And then the important bit. Because, as always, until next time, even though tonight it's only until tomorrow night, please be nice to each other. Thank you all. Good night. Thank you all.